Yes, we are back with some more of Why in the Morning as promised. Special thanks to Hilda with Ethi and uh, Joy Muchachi for that amazing segment that gets our Wednesday starting on a laughing note. So if you happen to get some videos that might go viral or that might break the views, as the name suggests, just send it to us on white 4 channel on Twitter, white 4 underscore channel on Instagram, and white 4 on Facebook so we can share it with the world and with the people so we can laugh together. So right about now, you know it's time for your favorite segment. And this is Strength of a Woman and my Strength of a Woman of the Day. Before I introduce her, I go by the name of Barry Moses or it's Barry Moses on every social media platform. So please follow, follow, follow for more insight on why in the morning. She's a fashion designer and uh, she's a trained journalist as well. And uh, she's, she's fresh off the boat. She just landed into the country from a trips uh, fashion related and she goes by the name Karen Nova. Karibu Sano. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Your camera is number four. I always like to do this. I like to give people the power in their hands to share their credentials. So kakuna kitu ni mehata, kama uko na PhD flani, just say it, I'm carrying over this and this and this and that. Okay, mm -hmm. my name is Kira Novia mm -hmm. on Instagram. Mm -hmm. My real name is Eve Miner. Eve Miner. Yes, mm -hmm. but my fashion label is known as uh, Eve Adams. Uh -huh. My name and my late dad's name All right. combined, yes. Your name and your late dad's name <laughs> yes. in memory of daddy, yes. Adams. Yeah. All right, why didn't you pick Mina as, as, as the name to go with? Well, I uh -huh. I thought about the classiness of the name. <laughs> oh, the classiness of the <laughs> yeah, name. Yeah, and if Adam sounded a lot... A lot more classier. Yeah. And you didn't want to be tribal with it no. also. No, no. Okay, right. a lot of people hear if Adams and they think it's like a... Uh, International brand, uh -huh. but it's just a Kenyan girl. It's just a Kenyan girl yeah. <laughs> who mixed the name with the, the, the late dad's name yes. to come up with something special. Yes. All right, so uh, it's been a long time coming, Eve, yeah. and uh, you've been designing for a while. Yeah. Uh, but this is not what you went to school for, right? No. All okay, right. actually, I, I did, mm -hmm. but it was I already had the skill mm -hmm. to sew clothing. Mm -hmm. So what I wanted was just the exposure which mm -hmm. the school was able to give me. Uh -huh. Yeah, which is known as Buruburu Institute of Fine arts. Oh, fine arts. So yes. here they train fashion designers, they train painters, yeah. they train uh, all kinds of all artists. All kinds of art, yeah. All right. Shout out to Buruburu Institute of Fashion, yeah. of, of, of art. Fine arts. Of fine arts. Yes. All right. So uh, <laughs> this is where you learned uh, the finer details in fashion. Yes. All right. Why did you pick this career? Because uh, from what I know, you went to media school as well. Yeah. I, I always had a passion for design. Mm -hmm. And clothing has always been a part of me ever since I was a kid. I used to pick out my clothes ever since I was like five. I always mm -hmm. knew what I wanted to wear. Mm -hmm. And when I grew, it progressed into me thinking creatively about mm -hmm. it. So I started now sketching. Mm -hmm. And from sketching, I decided let me now make the, correct, the, the outfit itself, mm -hmm. which I had a lot of support from my mom. Mm -hmm. I used to get material, fabrics from her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so every time I sketch, I would try to sew, but hand sewing mm -hmm. before I started using the single machine. The machine. Yeah. The singer. Yes. Singer <laughs> is a classic. Uh, do you have any other machines that are used by designers apart yeah. from singer? Because my mom had one as well. I've never seen a different brand from singer. It's actually singer. Mm -hmm. the, the brand itself is known as singer. Mm -hmm. But the, there's a, the one they used to overlock mm -hmm. the clothing is still. Singer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I've never seen any other brand. It seems they they've stood the taste of time. I see some of your pictures on the screen right there. Yeah. These are some of the fashion weeks or fashion events you yes. uh, you managed to be part of. Yeah. I but that's you right there in pink and black. Yes. All right. So uh, I always see this. Once you're done with your showcase, your models have walked the runway. Yeah. The designer comes out with that is our like, best models. What 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 is it? That is like the best part because you know people get to see who is behind all the beauty. Uh -huh and they appreciate the designer and uh -huh. then they now get to interact with you one on one uh, that is where people get to see the force behind what they yes. have been seeing yes it's that special it's time i've seen i've seen special. fashion designers <laughs> re renowned fashion designers do it uh, if we can rewind back to the white uh, outfits where we have eva uh, or kirinovia in blue I'd love to see that. This one is also amazing. This is the same. Yes, this is Nairobi Fashion Market. This is Nairobi Fashion Market. Yes. Uh, the venue, it date? It's in Gong Rescos. Uh -huh. uh, I don't remember the date very well because it's a while back, uh -huh. but it was one of my biggest platforms to ever showcase uh -huh. because it has... And I love, I love the outfits. I love the outcome. Thank you. The all white. Uh, why did you pick white as, as the theme color for this? Um, I actually drew my inspiration from Marilyn Monroe. Uh -huh. 
I liked the white. You remember the iconic picture of her in the white uh -huh, dress? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so I picked that from her and I decided let me now create a collection uh -huh. of feminine clothing because I, I found that very feminine. Uh -huh. I just like the way it's so ladylike. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you I, can show your your feminine side, yes, your, yes. your 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 fierceness. Yeah. All right. So uh, <laughs> inspired by Marilyn Monroe, yes. as iconic picture, yeah. you did this for Nairobi Fashion Market. Yes. All right. I like this. You dressed yourself as well because yeah, you're also I killing did. the game right now. <laughs> I had to like break the monotony of white, so uh -huh. I went with black and peach. Peach, that is not peach. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> All right. Pink. Where is color line here? We can <laughs> rewind to the other picture where she where Eva is in blue. Mm-hmm. Yes, as they find that picture, you were telling me about uh, sketching, yeah? Yes. Sketching is an important aspect of fashion design, yeah. Oh yes. Alright, so uh, nowadays uh, the people who used to play piano, mm -hmm. they have an alternative yeah. uh, of making beats from a computer. Yeah. The people who <laughs> used to <laughs> who used to paint can yeah. now paint on a computer or do graphic design on a computer. Yeah. Does uh, is sketching in fashion as sketching in fashion revolutionized like this? Do you have softwares for sketching? Well, yeah, there mm -hmm. are there are certain softwares people usually use, but I prefer the analog way of uh -huh. designing because you get to you decide, you scribble. Uh -huh. you, it's really rough and raw uh -huh. when you do it on paper rather than on the internet. I've seen quite a lot of people using the uh -huh. the internet one. Uh -huh. The one you get to sketch uh -huh. and even add three D uh -huh. on it. Design. Yeah, it's it's cute but I prefer the, the original way of sketching. The original way of sketching. Yeah, it makes you open up uh -huh. creatively in your uh -huh. mind. So that's There's just something about the pencil. Yes. All right. <laughs> so you like to sketch the traditional way. Yeah, yeah. Yes, now you know it. One thing you didn't know from Kira Novia is that all the designs are hand sketched. Let me about to know if they're handmade as well. White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook is the way to interact with us. Don't forget to leave the hashtag Queen's Wednesday. And the most important one is strength of a woman. You your views, your questions, and suggestions are invited as well. So we have the picture ready, and here is another white affair. What is it about white, um, Kirinovia? I find white very soothing. Uh -huh. It's very calming, and uh, at the same time, it looks angelic. Uh -huh. And I thought looks about angelic. yes, right, I thought I about the way the ladies would look on the runway mm -hmm. before I sketched the outfits, mm -hmm. and I decided I was going to do a neutral color, which mm -hmm. is white. Uh -huh. And so other designers were so jealous because they, were <laughs> they saw the outfits were like, wow, this is... This is something. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So when you're preparing for a runway show, yeah. uh, do you like... Is it like making an album for an artist? The, the clothes have to be related. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Because you think about the character you wanted to... Put. Like, for me, mm -hmm. I thought about femininity and the early 20s. Mm -hmm which is one of my biggest inspirations. I mm -hmm. love Vogue patterns. Mm -hmm. Vogue uh -huh. are very old designers. Mm -hmm. And uh, the white outfits were really, they were from back then, mm -hmm. the collection you're seeing there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought, let me sketch each outfit as to what I would like to wear uh -huh. like, on a day-to-day -day basis. So most of these things are your taste. Yes. This is something you'd wear on a Sunday uh, maybe? Oh yes. That's a jumpsuit, a uh -huh. white jumpsuit with a sweetheart neckline. Uh -huh. And I would wear that to, to a date. To a date? Yeah. All it's right. Really Dates classy. are really important <laughs> to ladies, I see. Uh, it's <laughs> always something I'd wear for a date. <laughs> All right. Uh, what about this other one with the slit? Yeah, that's a red carpet. Mm -hmm. It was my masterpiece, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, people really like The Couture magazine featured that mm -hmm. on their... Uh, wow, yeah, I like the, this. Uh -huh. So I, I thought about the slit because I like Tony Braxton a lot. All right, so this <laughs> was inspired by Tony as well. Yes, All so right. I picked the model uh -huh. who was star at that, that time. Uh -huh. Her name is Star, and her body is really, really, as you can see, she's really petite. And Tony Braxton. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> so I was thinking, how do I enhance features on such a petite woman? Mm -hmm. So I thought about cropping uh -huh. the First top and uh, details. The at yeah. least I see, I see what you did there. Yeah. All right. Uh, so one thing I've I've noticed, uh, apart from you loving white so much, yeah, is uh, you loving petite models. Yes. Why is Actually, this? What is it with our <laughs> our plus size sisters? Tell well, me today. Well, it's mm -hmm. not so much about how 
tiny a person because I can work with anyone. Mm -hmm. But the, at the time, the models I was getting were from an agency which mm -hmm. has a strict measurements and sizes for the models they mm. want so i was working with those models at that time uh -huh. so yeah, this is as per the standards of the of the event oh of yes. the fashion event yes all right it's not like killing over discriminate against body no, size no 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 i uh -huh. make clothing for all body types all i right. have clients who are actually really big all right yeah so uh another question i've always had yeah for fashion, for a fashion designer. I've always wanted to have this, by the way, so I can ask all these <laughs> questions. So when we come from this point of, uh, uh, what is it, showcasing mm -hmm. your designs, yeah. uh, is it limited edition, or there is a, a phase where now you transform it to mass production? Well, it, when you're done with the show, uh -huh. there's usually one outfit that stands out the most. Uh -huh. Like one, this one, I yes. love this one. Rewind, please. Rewind, please. <laughs> I love this one. This and the model is uh, beautiful. Yeah. Yes, yes, she is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the such a dress, by the way, I actually had to make based on order because uh -huh. people liked it so much, mm -hmm. and everyone was like, "That dress with the model who had the ponytail." And <laughs> so I knew who they were talking about uh -huh. automatically because uh -huh. I. When I was creating this, I mm -hmm. thought it was a formal event gown, uh -huh. and a lot of people like to wear simple outfits on events, mm -hmm. but still classy and outstanding. Mm -hmm. So when people started demanding for the white... For that particular one? Yes. Okay. I started making now in bulk mm -hmm. and in different sizes because people come in different shapes. All right, so <laughs> they send them a shape. So it's not like you, you go out and just make masks no. and shelf, put them in shelves in shops. You no, make no. by order. Yeah. So that's why the runway is very important uh -huh. because after you showcase, now you get the reception from the people who What are, people want. Yeah. So when people go for a certain outfit, that mm -hmm. is the one you realize you have to make in... All right. Yeah, large All right. numbers. I've noticed people also don't like to walk into a venue and see, especially, I'm sorry to say ladies, because uh, for guys, if I show up to an event and my my brother <laughs> <laughs> or my n-word is is somewhere there yeah. with the same outfit as me i'll be like You'll wow be like, whoa, yeah. whoa, i like this i like this yeah. but for ladies it's if they see different. yeah if they see somebody with the same exact outfit <laughs> uh, they feel like ah why did i do this so how do you make them different because it when people make their orders yeah they want to stand out, obviously. How yeah. do you make this one different from the next one and going on and on and on to number 100? So, you know, I usually get different type of people when it comes to clients. Mm -hmm. There's a client who will come to you and they would want the exact thing they saw on the runway. Uh -huh, they don't care. Yeah. They were the, I just want that. The uh -huh. way it looks, uh -huh. nothing changes. Uh -huh. But then there's another one who will come and they, you sit down with them mm -hmm. and they'll be like, I, but I want this, but I want this to change. Mm -hmm. Or I want you to add this and this. So that's how you get to, mm -hmm. you know, manipulate. What type design. of clients do you prefer? The <laughs> one I want, the exact one on the runway. Oh, I like it, but I want <laughs> this to, okay, to a buzz a little bit more. <laughs> a little bit of both. Uh -huh. Because I, I like challenges. cheesy uh -huh. work, you but like then I also like challenges. Uh -huh. That's why I like thinking outside the box. So when someone comes and they challenge you and they want you to change something, mm -hmm. it makes you think, what, what can I possibly do to this outfit to make it different? Wow, so I love this so much. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it changes you, your mentality. You, mm -hmm. It makes you work. Mm -hmm. I don't like idling. Put you to work. <laughs> yeah. All right. So as a fashion designer, there are other, there are other what is it? Well, there are other aspects of the industry yeah. that make fashion design what it is right here, right now. Mm -hmm. What are some of these things? Uh, if somebody out there would like to exploit a career in fashion and they're not necessarily gifted in designing or stitching, like myself. I've tried <laughs> to stitch, but tricked myself once. 1,000 times. Yeah. I know <laughs> that's the hard part. Uh -huh. People usually don't like the sewing part of it. Uh -huh. But I would encourage them to love your tools. Mm -hmm. That's what I say, love mm -hmm. your tools. Because you need those needles, uh -huh. you need the single machine uh -huh. to create your masterpiece. Uh -huh. I didn't like sewing at first, but with time, mm -hmm. I started enjoying it. Because, you know, you get to see what you're actually making. Mm -hmm. And, it's, you, you know, when you see your final product as an artist, mm -hmm. that is like the... All right, that uh, is like the, <laughs> the what? The, what's the word? I'm From thinking? your face, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, you just feel like you've accomplished. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I would encourage anyone who wants to do fashion but don't have the expertise of uh -huh. sewing, just go to school. Mm -hmm. I did that. All right. 
but not because I didn't know how to. My grandmother had the machine way before, so I uh, learned how you to. You learned way, way before. Yes, it's a family way, of designers. Yeah, yeah. But my question <laughs> was really, uh, what are some of the other aspects of the fashion industry that yeah. somebody who is interested in fashion yeah. can venture into? Like, say, for an event like this one yeah. to be possible, yeah. what are some of the other uh, people who are, who, who are there to make it possible? Ah, so, okay, fashion, is, the good thing about it is it's really wide. Mm -hmm. So there's Those are the things I'm looking for. Yeah, photography is one yes, of them. Yes, photography is a huge, and this You get to interact with models a lot, by <laughs> the way, as a photographer. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's uh -huh. one of the perks about uh -huh. photography. But then it also, it, it, you get to make money mm -hmm. from your skill of photography because mm -hmm. people love photos. Uh -huh. And in this uh, era, fashion blogging has become a thing. Mm -hmm where you can't make the clothes and you don't mm -hmm. want to learn how to make clothing, mm -hmm. but you want to be in the industry. Mm -hmm. So you get to take photos of clothing that you find interesting and, mm -hmm. you know, p put them up on maybe your... And review. Media. Yeah. I know you hate critics, ah. yeah. <laughs> yes, because I actually go through the hassle of making this. So when someone criticizes me, I'm like, yes. why are they even talking <laughs> about Something you've done for six months, yeah. they sit down for ten minutes. Yeah, and they're like, I don't care. And really write like something this. about it. Yeah. So we have the fashion critics as well. You look yeah. gorgeous there. Uh, Thank you. Designed by yourself as well. Yes. All right, so we have fashion critics. Yeah. Uh, we have photographers. Yes. There's no fashion without photography because yeah. we have to document this. Mm -hmm. What else is there? So there's also, fashion is really weird, like yeah. I said. So there's also the supplies. You can name a few, yeah. Supplies of, of fabrics. The, uh -huh. You can go out there and scout fabrics. Like if you like to travel, mm -hmm. don't just go out there and don't, you know, check out the places where they actually sell fabrics because mm -hmm. we have culture in fabrics. Mm -hmm. So when you go to Singapore, go to the clothing stores, check out the fabrics, uh -huh. bring them to Kenya. We'll buy them, by uh -huh. the way, and you'll make a lot of money. You guys like to experiment a lot. Yeah. All right, so there's fabric, there's photography, there's makeup as well. Yes. There's, uh, there's event organizing. Ah, yes. There's, uh, there's the media part of it, yeah. there's the PR, there's the marketing, there's lots and lots of things yes. in the fashion industry if you'd like to venture. Yeah. The last thing I'd like to talk about mm -hmm. is what were you doing in Spain and how was the experience? Well, uh, it was not really much in, in terms of uh, the selling of clothing, mm -hmm. but it's just the experience of uh -huh. getting to see the different varieties of clothes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Designers, yeah, designers and fashion. Yeah. Uh, which city were you in? Barcelona. Barcelona. Yes. Barcelona is a fashion hub. Yeah, it is, uh -huh, but it's not shape. so much. Uh -huh. But they are getting there. It's they're just getting. like you know, in Kenya, we have a lot of people who are into fashion because it's a thing right now. Uh -huh. But there, they actually own it. It's uh -huh. like if you want to wear your outfit, you know, uh -huh. in Kenya we are yet to get there, but we are. I think we are headed. We are yet to get to that place where yes. somebody is saying, "Is uh, I have Eve." Yes. On me, Eve yes. Adams. Yes. On me. Yeah. So it's work in progress yeah. for the fashion industry. Yeah. Your social media handles, as we wrap this up, your camera is number so four. So my social media handles are Kiranovia at all social media platforms. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you can check me out on either one. All right. Hala, if you want to... Place your order. Yeah, you can just DM. All right. Yeah. DMs are invited as well. Thank you very much, Eve, for Thank coming through too. to Y in the morning. We appreciate you. Strength of a Woman has come to an end. And today we had Eva, who's the CEO and founder and the designer at Kira, at Kiranovia. Eve Adams. Eve Adams. <laughs> Eve Adams, rather. Eve Adams fashion. Eve, Eve Adams... Fashion line. Fashion line. You yes. call it the fashion line. Yes. Eve Adams fashion line. That is the name. Uh, but you can find her at Kiranovia on Instagram. And there you can place your order. And, that, and there you can find uh, out how she does a thing, how she goes about a thing. She's done a lot from Nairobi fashion market uh, to visiting Barcelona just to experience the fashion. If you think you know somebody who fits this part, for strength of a woman. White 54 channel on Twitter, White 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White 54 on Facebook is the way to reach us. Don't forget the hashtag strength of a woman. And don't forget the hashtag why in the morning. And we'll bring her here. It doesn't have to be business. It could be given back to the community. So Kalami Valley is coming up next uh, with Girls Talk. It's a hot topic. You don't want to miss it. Don't touch that down.